play 2K, max out, work out, do what I do. Making the whole falling down. Shit, you know what? With that being said, we gonna get right into this shit because okay. I see this shit already taking off. Mm -hmm. As real niggas do, you know what I'm saying? Um, as we always say, welcome back to another episode of your favorite podcast's favorite podcast. It's the Lunch Table Podcast where the beats was fresh. You know what I'm saying? Boys turn the men. Shorties will curve, but still get hit in the staircase. Bang go without. You know what time it is. Jesus Christ. Um, as you already know, it's your it's your favorite's favorite. Your boy Jeff Destiny, part of my flash. G Diddy's all the same in tune. Fuck with me. Uh, to my right today, you just say to my left, but you know I'm on I'm on the I'm on the different side of the table today. Uh, to my right, the man I'll cut your ass if you don't have the facts. My man Jay Gilly was good. Talk to me. Cool, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes, yes. And to my left. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Smooth criminal, smooth operator. The golden thumb. The golden thumb. You know what I'm saying? My man, Tycho RC. Call cool, that name, Jamie Lannister? Oh, right. shit. Chill, chill, chill. Yo, April 14th, you know, let them know. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a pause Sheesh. on that. Oh, yeah, what? No, what? no freaky, no freaky. Oh, not, yo, 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 yo. yo I'm here to put things into perspective. <laughs> We're going to edit that out. We're going to edit that out. My man, Rich called Tyco, see what it do. What's good, man? Yo, you a funny man. <laughs> <laughs> I was just waiting. I was freestyling the top of the thumb. I was like, yeah, oh, I got to mix man. it up a little Ten bit. seconds passed. Uh, yeah, you're like, ah. Oh. Sitting there, like, cold out there. Pulled up. <laughs> 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 to the left and the right. It was like, see, so you ain't going to say it. Yeah. But uh, my G's, as, as y'all already know, so it's a pleasure to rock out and vibe and everything like that. Uh, Who we got today, though? Oh, yes, sir, man. Uh, shit, we got... Hometown, hometown dude in the building, man. Uh, I would say, let me see. I started hearing about homie back when I was still in Salesian. So I was like across the town, probably like 11, 12th grade. All I'm hearing is Jordan Lucas. I'm like, what the fuck is this Jordan Lucas? And mind you, like back then, like around like 11th grade, fucking like like football wise, I think that uh, fucking that was when I still would hear about. Mainly, all these other niggas still making noise, but I always hear some other niggas. I was like, I don't know that young name. Boy. Mm -hmm. And then, the young boy as far as the football, me. as far as just making noise and putting their phone and stuff, we got the Kansas City Chiefs cornerback, I believe, correct? Safety. Safety. All I, the same. It's all the same shit? DB. I oh. The DB. My man, hometown hero. Jordan Lucas, my guy. What it do, my guy? What's what good? it do? What's, What's good? good? Thank you for having me. Now, listen, man. Thank you for coming on. Around. Word. First off, dude told me that he came from CP via Uber. Oh, word? Word. <laughs> I looked at him, I was much, like, much, man, much, I looked much. at him, I was like, in my mind, like, boy, you could have curbed me for that. Like, I was gonna have you come through here, but I, I appreciate it. Nah, I just, that. I knew I, this was something that I told you I was gonna do and I wanted to do it. So, I mean, man, I knew weird. I wasn't gonna drive. I was like, man, cause I ain't, nah. I'm not trying to leave the crib too early. Then I got to find parking and walking. Yeah. I'm gonna just Uber. So so first question is how are you doing my G? I'm doing very well. Are you happy? As yes. happy as I could I'm happy to be out of Miami. Oh, yeah. oh okay. So we, uh, you know what? We gonna get there. <laughs> we gonna get there. <laughs> we gonna, we gonna yeah, get there. Yeah, but I wanna take it back. Uh my question is, you are from Nourish originally or not? Well, that's kinda confusing because my mom is from White Plains. Okay. That's where, was, that's where I was born and raised. Okay. But okay. Her and my father were never together, and he actually lived in my Vernon first, but we always had a crib in New Rochelle. Oh. And my, and my um, my step grandmother, I guess. Her, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Family would go. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, so I was Mount White Plains, Mount Vernon, New Rochelle. I grew up like I know everybody from Mount Vernon. Mm -hmm. I know. People from Yonkers, yeah. Cause I grew up in all those West parts. Chester. Like I lived all over Westchester. Like I was born in White Plains. My dad's taking me all around. I've been yeah. there. He I've got ties there. in the Ville. He got ties in the Ville, cause that's where he's from. I got family out there. Yeah. And then New Rochelle, I've been playing sports there mm -hmm. my whole life. So then fast forward, that's I went to White Plains High School my freshman year, cause my mom wanted me to, but. I always play sports in New Rochelle, so oh, okay. that's how, yeah. yeah I, I didn't know, because literally, like, though, I'm across the town, and literally, like, I know, 
I know I would have times where I'm going from Sleeve to my crib or Sleeve all the way to New Rope. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I'm just hearing, I'm like, who is this nigga? I'm hearing about not just on, on the field, but off the field. Matter of fact, there was one time I think there was some drink I was trying to link with. I was like, yo, what's, what you doing tonight? She's like, yeah, you I gotta go check. It. We good. Oh, 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 it, 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 it's, 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 Listen, see yeah. the finger, he's safe out here in these streets. But uh, right. I was, and then I remember I, I was gonna go with Lincoln. She was like, Oh, yeah, I kind of gotta go chill. And I'm like, Woohoo! Like, I'm like, Oh, this nigga, he's fucking on my shit. Yeah. See you know what I'm saying? This guy. But it's been I'm good to hear <laughs> and watch this shit from the background. Cause I'm just like, Yo, dude's been making noise and everything like that. So let's start from Nervous Shout Football. Talk about it. Like, what was it like playing? Playing ball and football, uh, well, playing football in the Rochelle because I know, I know as someone who was not at the high school and maybe you can speak more to this. Like every year, I'm seeing new roads going all the way, putting out top dudes and everything like it's that. Expected. So you, it's yeah, expected. exactly. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I think the biggest thing, not even high school, was playing like Pop Warner because that's where I played. That's where I played my football as YTL. a kid. I played YTL. So everybody that Everybody that I knew from a kid, the same niggas I played with in high school. Mm -hmm. So it was okay. like we all played together. You already had before. the chemistry like, with niggas. The chemistry was. was always there. We was always we was doing young nigga shit years before I even came to the high school. And then once we got it on the field again, I mean, I took one year off from them when I played freshman at White Plains. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the only year I didn't play. And other than that, once we got to the high school, it was like, yo, we back at it. So why did you leave White Plains and come to New York for football? I never wanted to go to White Plains. Mm. My mom made me. It was, you know, a big battle between her and my father, yeah. you know, Those with the mean. custody and all that shit. Yeah. So it's real life so shit. That's like, real yeah. life shit. That's real so, life shit. Like all my life, I've been pulled this way, pulled that way yeah. until like I was just like, yo, I, I, I want to go to New Rochelle. That's where all my friends are. And I grew up with White Plains. I grew up both places, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt better in New Rochelle. That's what's up. Nah, but um, you went from... I, I I seen you since you was younger, so I mm -hmm. know you was been a freak athlete. Oh, word? Why, why you go the football route instead of, like, basketball? Oh, I think Great about question. that all the time because... I feel like if I would have took basketball a little bit more serious, mm -hmm. that I could have been I could have been decent in basketball. I think you but, too. but um, <laughs> yo, she's a freak athlete. <laughs> now I just now you making me think about when I came when I, I actually came to New Rochelle, the yeah. summer league when we is out in Lincoln Park and stuff like yeah. that, and I was I was killing, but. I just didn't have the basketball. I I wasn't training the way I should have been in basketball. You know what I'm saying? And then I I did something that I told myself and that my father told me to never do. I let one man stop me from doing something that I love. Murph. Oh, I didn't know it was gonna get to Murph. What? Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, so, I, I didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't know oh wait, either. hold on. Go so ahead. I can bring it go back. Damn, I remember. I remember at one point Damn, when I was younger, and my dad, like a lot of this shit, we we didn't agree on a lot of things. But as I'm a man now, you know, so everything that he said to me is still back there. So I remember. You, yeah. I remember when I was a young kid, and he would say, "One day it's, it's gonna have. It's gonna come a time where you're gonna have to pick." Interesting. And I really didn't understand. I'm like, I'm gonna play it all. I'm gonna mm -hmm. fucking. I play for three sports. I play baseball, basketball, and football. Mm -hmm. So he's like, you're gonna have to pick one day. I had to be like nine, ten when he told me. You like, say nah, <laughs> yeah, you bugging. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead, ahead, ahead. So yeah. you know, years pass. He still told me the same thing. So once I get the new role, and you know, Brent telling me one play because I played, I played freshman for White Plains, mm -hmm. and. You know, they all knew me. The New Rochelle coach, coach T knew me, and yeah. Brett knew me, Murph knew me. This is basketball wise. Basketball wise. Coach Brett was coaching JV football and JV basketball at that time. Right, right. Yeah. This was around coach that time. Right. He a legend, man. Right. Yeah. So they're like, "Yo, nah, you gotta play basketball." Did it this and that. I'm like, "Nah, I think I'm gonna try to get in the weight room, did it, and do my thing, try to focus on football." Right. Man, that year passed. I played summer league. I played in the eye. <laughs> Eight, whatever two yeah, minutes I, 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 I even went to get. some of the fucking to some of the scrimmages with the New World basketball team yeah, at the yeah. time but mm -hmm. I just 
I couldn't do it with Murph. Like, I, I really went the only you. one on the long list. <laughs> because I felt like, even, and check this out, my 11th grade year, after we went to States, mm -hmm. we went to States, and, um, you know, this is while tryouts is going on. They already picked the basketball team, and Murph was like, yo, come, come on the squad. Mm -hmm. Literally, as soon as that shit's over, I'm in basketball practice. We got four four days to the next game, right? Yeah. So like the first six games, you know, I'm sitting on the bench. I get in a couple minutes here, a couple minutes there, until I start being like the sixth man. Okay. And then like, this reps start increasing, playing time. Yeah, start, everything start going up. Right. But I just couldn't get down with the way that he was handling the team and like the type of free reign he was giving niggas to some and people. to some people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and like no no nothing against that nah, nothing nah, like nah. that but I just can't play like that nah, I feel and I can't get down with a coach who he just wasn't he just wasn't the coach for me nah he and put you in the box too told you what you could do some yeah, coaches yeah, play yeah, more defense than the other team and I couldn't be put in the box I, I yeah. feel like I'm not I'm not a selfish player yeah mm -hmm. I'm I, I do my thing I play my role but you're not gonna put one thing you're not gonna do is put me in the box because I know how I am I know how I could play mm -hmm. and I'm just like yo. If I if 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 I feel like he's taking the love away from the shit and I'm not having fun, I don't want to do it. My dad yeah. tried to force me that year Church. until I I was I was legit sitting on our driveway like pick me up from practice and shit, and I started crying. I'm like, yo, I really don't want to play for that dude. Mm -hmm. I, I like I don't. You like you and you forcing me. That's real shit. Yeah. That shit. That, I did not know. I did not know that actually happened. That's crazy. Yeah, that, wow. that that happened. Yeah, Murph, my guy too. But a lot of people felt felt yeah. like, yo, there's a long yeah, list. Yeah, you can go to any project in the Nerd Shell. You can go to any suburb. Songs Even the old, old. They made songs. Oh, shout out my nigga Cool. <laughs> they made songs about yeah. Jesus. My, right. my, even old heads like niggas who's coming like fucking bleak, mm -hmm. like Courtney Green brother. <laughs> Like yo, a lot of people couldn't get down with Murph. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. a lot of cats can. Okay, wait. So you you was at the high school from oh from oh nine, no, was it oh eight? 